Hi, how are you doing? It's Jeff back again with another great Judas Priest song. And of course, we are turning our attention to Grinder. It was suggested to me by one of my Skype students. Dave, good call, good lesson. Hope you're going to enjoy this as well. Easy to follow, easy to play. And of course, if you look at the links below, I will have the tablature available for you there as well. I'm going to break it down part by part. We're looking mainly at Glenn Tipton's line, but KK Downing follows everything that we play here very, very closely anyway. If this is your first time to the channel, hi, how you doing? Hope you're enjoying what you're seeing so far on the channel. If you're a big Priest fan, Maiden, Saxon, well, really, this is the place for you. So why not do yourself a favour, click on that subscribe button, click on that bell, then you're going to be notified whenever I'm posting anything new to the channel. Anyway, enough of the outrageous plugs. Let's get into it and let me show you how to play Grinder. You know the score. Don't go away. Preview. So let me just play you the intro and then I'll break it down. All we're doing there, we're just starting off with an A5. We're going to play an A5 four times. And then we're going to play one open A string. And then we're going to do a C5 twice. Down to a B5 once. Open A string. And then we repeat all over again. So. We're going to do that four times at the beginning and then we get into the verse. Now the verse we're going to play that riff twice and then we're going to move down and instead of playing an A5 we're going to play a G5 in its place. So it would go like this. So got the A5 normal one that we've been playing switching down to the G5 which is the 3 and the 5 you're going to play that four times and then we play an open E and then back to the normal riff that takes us through the verse we're going to repeat that whole sequence again and then we go into the chorus section which goes like this And that just repeats, and we do that whole thing and repeat it four times. So what we're doing, we're playing an E5 to an F5, let that ring out. And then we've got two chokes on that F5. And then back to the E5, back to the F, sorry, not an F, it's an F sharp 5. And then we got an A5, back to the F sharp 5. So... And that just gets played through the chorus section. From the chorus section, we go back and we do a verse, play through the verse and play through the chorus section. Then we are up into the first break, which is Glenn Tipton's solo. So let's have a look what the rhythm guitar is doing behind that. And this section is very similar to the intro. The only difference is that we're putting in a chug, putting two chugs between the chords. So it goes like this. <laughs> And we would just repeat that. So we're just doing an A, two chugs on the open A string, chord, two chugs, chord, two chugs, chord, two chugs, and then repeat that twice, then down to the G. Okay. 
and we repeat that and that whole section gets repeated four times. So now we're into the bridge section and I just want to show you how we get from Glen Tips and Solo Park into the bridge section. So we're going to go to the back end of the solo, we are on the G5 chord going back to the A chord. It would go like this and then I'll go into the link. Okay, that part was the bridge which we'll get into, but as we come out of the G, then we've got three A's, and then we've got this E, two E's again, to an F, and then we're into the bridge, so it's, and that F sharp there that I played is the bridge section, which is now what I'm going to play you through. So, the whole of the bridge section goes like this. So I'm playing on an F sharp, and I've got an F sharp, two chugs, two chugs again, and then I've got an F sharp node going to an E, two more E's, F sharp, sorry F, and then back to, so let me just play that nice and slow so you can just catch that. Now from that last chug there, we've got the two again, we go up to an A5 and we go on, so we go in, from that two to the A, two that play that twice, in fact three times, down to a G sharp, and then we're going to play an E with the chug. So it's a E chug. And then we got three open E's to a G sharp. And then we repeat. Just place through and that. Go through that, repeat the whole thing again, and that is the bridge section. From the bridge section, we go back to a verse, we play all the way through the verse, we play through the chorus, and then we go into the outro section, which just goes like this. I'm doing is bass round the chorus. We're doing the same chorus line, which is that uh, going to the F. Play that twice. Now on the next time round, we're going to play the E F, and then we get that chug that we did in the bridge. So we're doing chug on the F sharp, and then we go back in E F sharp. Then we go back to an E to an F, and then the chugs. And then it's an E, F. And then we do an A to a B5. And that takes us to the end of the song, all of the sections covered. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed learning how to play Grinder. Not too hard to play on the rhythm section at all, so I'm sure you'll be able to get into this real quick. Don't forget, as usual, I will have the tab available on the link below.
Anyway, I'm going to let you go so you can get into this and learn how to play it. Until the next time, speak to you real soon. Until then, goodbye.